I'm just going to kind of morph into talk about situational serving. So I'm going to have the team um, on this side. So I need six people out here. You guys are my ser you guys are my servers. Or if you want to go over there, you can go over there. All right, we're going to start off with traditionally we're going to have the setter out of right back. So whoever my setter is, you're going to start right back. Okay, serve receive. Let's get in our first option of serve receive. Number 15 is my setter. Okay. All right. We got my middle here. Raise your hand. All right. All right. So here's my three hitters. Three hitters, raise your hands. Okay, good. So here's our three hitters. If I'm, a, if I'm scouting this team and um, I'm trying to find, you know, what their weaknesses are, yes, you're trying to find who their weakest passer is, but I'm also, you have to look at it in the, at the other angle of who is their best hitter. Who do we have to stop? Who's the best hitter over here? <laughs> I was just curious if you guys would say who the best hitter is right away. Okay, so if number four is, let's just say number four is my best hitter, okay? Because that's what he says. Okay, so um, I'm, I'm thinking as a coach, okay, if he's my best hitter, it looks like right now he's probably going to attack on the right side. I don't know. I, maybe if I scouted him, he's going to come and he's going to hit a two, or he's going to you know, hit a nine behind, whatever you guys want to call your sets, okay? I'm not sure. I don't want to serve over here then. I want to serve to number four. The setter's releasing. I want to jam him up, okay? So I'm either going to pick a deep corner zone one, and when I say, when I give a signal to my team and I do this, they know this means corner for me. If I do one and I slice it down my chest, I mean I want the seam. So I literally tell them if I want corner or if I want the seam. Okay, I don't just say zone one, because if I just say zone one, it's going right in his arms. Okay? I would either serve deep zone one or my favorite serve, I would serve right here zone two, because that's nothing... If anyone in here is a setter, you know that that's the most frustrating ball when it's served really short and you're all jammed up, okay? So, I'm going to give you this, okay? All right, ready? Yay, we did it! We, uh, we, <laughs> we created the option, the first option for us. That's awesome, okay, good try. All right, ready? I want this. Okay, so I gave him zone one corner. He served his zone six, and we pretty much had three options then. Okay, that's okay. We got to serve over. That's a pretty tough serve, so we're not totally unsuccessful. It's okay. Corner. Get it in the corner. Okay, good. So I gave him corner, but he served right into his arm. So I'm not happy with that one. Okay, so, but that was still a good serve over the net, number three. So that's not unsuccessful. But I'm telling you, I want this, which means corner, right? Okay. Aim at their head, at their head. Yes, yes, good. Okay, that was a great serve. That's the kind of serve I want to see where he's got to reach up high. And then it's hard to make yourself an option. You're still an option, so you still need to call your set. Okay, so we work on that. I would say, number four, you still got to stay with it. Don't just, if you pass the ball, you still got to call your set and make yourself relevant. Okay? All right, now I want this. Okay? Good. Okay. Number nine did a really good job passing that short ball, so we didn't really jam up the middle. So let's say number four, okay, maybe he's not our best hitter. And I'm not saying that you are or aren't. I'm just put hypothetical situation. Let's say number 11 now is our focus, and he's our best hitter, and he's going to, do you guys hit slides? Yeah. Okay, let's say you're going to come around his slide, you're going to hit a two. Okay, so what would I do in this scenario? Well, I'm either going to serve zone two or I'm going to serve zone three. Okay, so let's try this. Oh! 